Number eight. The types of intermolecular forces in a substance are identical, whether it's a solid, a liquid, or a gas. Why, then, does a substance change phase from a gas to a liquid or to a solid? Okay, so this is, a, this is an interesting question. Now, I do have a picture here depicting a solid to a liquid to a gas. Now, it doesn't really matter what specific uh, molecule this is, but we'll just say that this is going to be a single atom, as, as its molecule, so I can't really choose any diatomics because I see that in my gas, I just have one red circle, so that just indicates one atom. So I'm just going to pick something that can exist by itself, and maybe I'll say, I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll say uh, neon, right? So basically, we have neon as a solid, and then neon as a liquid, and then neon as a gas. Now, could we have chosen, you know, any other uh, element? Sure. Um, it just um, it just can't be one of your diatomics because they have like O2. You got two atoms there. All right. So for neon, it does not matter whether you have a gas, a liquid, or a solid of neon. Those intermolecular forces are always going to be identical. And since we're just talking about neon, the intermolecular forces here would just be dispersion forces. So neon just has dispersion forces. Now dispersion forces are, remember, those temporary forces uh, that come about because of those instantaneous uh, or those temporary dipoles between one neon to another neon. So as you're going from a gas to a liquid to a solid, it, it makes sense that it doesn't matter whether you're a gas, liquid, or solid, you're still going to have all dispersion forces. So technically, neon in a gas form should have dispersion forces, a liquid, and a solid. But the only difference is, is that because these atoms are changing in the rate of their movement, kinetic energy is at play here. Ke stands for kinetic energy. And basically, kinetic energy is fighting against those forces. IMF is standing for intermolecular forces. So IMF, I for inter, M for molecule, you know, or molecular, and F for forces. And in this case, we're talking about dispersion because we pick something that just has dispersion forces. It's nonpolar. It's just one atom. So it has no dipole-dipole or no hydrogen bonding. Okay. So now, remember, intermolecular forces is what keeps the atoms attractive to each other. And it keeps them close. If two atoms are very, very close to each other, they are super attractive. So as you go from a gas to a liquid to a solid, look at how close those elements are, or atoms are together. As you're going from a gas to a liquid, they're getting closer, so more attractive. And as you're going from a liquid to a solid, they get super close. So the most attractive, the highest amount of intermolecular forces is at the solid state. Now, how does a substance change phase from a gas to a liquid to a solid? Well, this is basically now ramping up your forces and dropping your kinetic energy because they're fighting each other. The more kinetic energy that you have, and remember, kinetic energy is the energy of motion or movement. The more kinetic energy that you have, it overrides those attractive forces that are trying to keep those atoms close. So as you're going from a gas to a liquid, your kinetic energy is dropping. Your movement is slowing down. And since your movement of the atoms are slowing down, those atoms are going to get closer and closer and closer to each other. And as you're going from a liquid to a solid, it's the same idea. So from a gas to a liquid, all you have to do is just drop that temperature. 
Because you're dropping the temperature, the kinetic energy will also decrease. And you will not, or the molecule will say, the molecule does not have enough energy, does not have enough energy to override or overcome, we'll say, overcome the intermolecular force. And I'll just put IMF. And because it doesn't have enough kinetic energy to overcome the IMF, the intermolecular forces will override the kinetic energy. And because of that, they will become more attractive. They will become more attractive and change state. And the same thing happens from a liquid to a gas. And the same thing happens from a gas. Sorry, did I say liquid to a gas? The same thing happens from a liquid to a solid. And the same thing happens from a gas to a solid. It's all about, in all three of these, that temperature will be dropped, the kinetic energy drops, the motion slows down, and since movement is slowing down, that molecule does not have enough energy to override or overcome those intermolecular forces. And since now, if you think about it in terms of like a scale, intermolecular forces, you know, here's my little scale, intermolecular forces are way overpowering, way down on that scale. And they become more attractive, and they change the state. So this is basically the answer in a nutshell. I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I look forward to helping you in future lessons. Always keep learning, and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.